In this tip of the day, I want to demonstrate how you can use two completely different machining strategies when performing a pocket operation. In this example, I have two identical parts. Each part is being roughed out using high-speed machining. I'm going to give you a different example on each one of these. So let's head over here to the NC Manager. I'm going to right-hand mouse click on this first high-speed pocket operation. Let's come down here to Edit Operation. And what we're going to do is we're going to quickly push through these menu dialogs until we get to this menu right here. And where it says last cut, I'm going to select this. I'm going to tell 1CNC to remove 30 thousandths for the last cut. Now notice how I can use a completely different machining strategy for the last cut. On this one, I'm going to use high speed zigzag. Also notice how you can override the original speeds and feeds if you want to for this finish pass. I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to leave that unchecked. Let's just click next and push all the way through and hit finish. I'm going to select where I want the tool to enter because I've already pre-drilled that. That looks good. And so what we've done now is we've used high-speed roughing to rough the pocket out. And then for the last 30 thousandths, we used high-speed zigzag. Let's do something a little bit different on this pocket. Let's go back to the NC Manager, right-hand mouse click. Let's go to Edit Operation, just like we did before. And again, we're going to quickly push through these menu dialog boxes. On this one, I'm going to select Last Cut. And again, I'm going to say 30 thousandths, but for this, I'm going to use traditional for the last pass. Again, we have the option to override the speeds and feeds if we want to. I'm just going to click next and go all the way through. And because I've pre-drilled these holes, I'm going to select that as my entry point. Very good. Now let's end this by performing a quick simulate. I'm just going to use the solid models I created earlier for the stock. We'll click OK to that. So there's our drilling. Now we're going to use that hole to enter into the pocket for our high speed roughing. And within the same cycle now, we're going to use zigzag, high-speed zigzag, to remove the last 30 thousandths. Now in this last example, again, we're using high-speed rough to rough the pocket, but now we're going to use a traditional concentric style toolpath to machine the remaining 30 thousandths. Very nice. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.